Happening today, if you're driving between Cadiz and Murray, Kentucky this morning, you can expect a major detour to your trip, and that's because crews are going to implode the old Lake Barkley Bridge. Thank goodness in Canton, it's the scariest bridge around, so they need to temporarily stop traffic on the new bridge. News Channel 5, Sophie Nelson Colding is there now, and Sophie, I know there's going to be some detours set up, so is that that's probably clearly marked so people know what to do. People are going to have to self detour onto I 24 this morning if they typically use the bridge. It's going to be about a two hour window where it's closed and that could add a, about a 40 mile uh, detour to your trip if you're going that way. But here to tell us a little bit more about the implosion itself is Keith Todd with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. Do you have a I know there's a window of when the explosions might go off. Do you have a better idea of exactly what time or are they still working on that? They're still working at the explosive team uh, and our people are meeting this morning and working out some just final little tweaking. Uh, we're thinking sometime between 630 and 9. Uh, we'll get about 15 minutes notice before the blast. We'll be shutting down traffic on the new bridge, as you mentioned. Uh, that'll be the first clue that something is coming. Uh, there will be a small blast that is designed to scare off the ospreys and any other birds uh, that might be roosting on the old bridge. And then about 30 seconds later, there will be the main blast to bring down the two main spans of the old structure. Uh, there will be a, a blast uh, from the horn of the towboat uh, that will give us another clue that things are coming. And we'll, we'll be providing some more specifics on that here in the next few minutes once they get through with their safety meeting this morning. Can you talk about the setup for this? I know they had barges out putting all the explosives up. They've been working for several weeks. Uh, they came in and they uh, cut the uh, old truss uh, to weaken it some. And then they went in and, and uh, very carefully placed explosives in places where they knew that it would uh, bring the spans down uh, the way they want it to. And of course, once it gets in the river, uh, they'll pull a crane in and start pulling out the steel to get it out of the river. Um, the um, That'll be going on for about the next 24 hours. Uh, towboat traffic will be stopped for about 24 hours. Uh, but for, as far as highway traffic, it should be stopped, we think, for about two hours. And we're, of course, going to try to bring it to you live on News Channel 5 this morning. But if people want to watch this in person, talk about where they can go to do that. One of the best places is in the land between the lakes along the multi-use trail that uh, that will eventually go all the way across the bridge. Uh, there's a place on the land between the lake side. There's a little bit of parking over there. Parking is going to be premium. Uh, the other thing we're asking people to remember is that the Canton side of the bridge is all privately owned. So be sure to ask permission from the property owners if you're going to go down on their property to watch it on the Canton side. Um, but most of the shoreline is out of the clear zone. We have a 1500 foot clear zone. There's going to be a lot of boats out here. Uh, you can start to see a lot of boats coming out of the bays. And uh, so there's going to be a pretty good crowd. We had about 8,000 people when we did the demolition on the old Egner's Ferry Bridge. So here there aren't the more direct viewing areas, so people can be spread out more. It's going to be a lot harder to kind of judge how many people are here, but we think they'll be out there. Well, thanks so much, Keith. We're definitely excited. We've got a great vantage point from up here, and the sun's starting to come up, so hopefully we'll get a really great view of this bridge coming down. Live in Canton, Kentucky, Sophie Nelson-Colding, News Channel 5.